Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke. Today we are definitely going to get through the cave. And I was actually doing grinding montage as I said last uh, last time for Magikarp to get to level 13. I realized that by that time it just does not work out well for me. Uh, for many reasons. Predominantly because I actually tried to do that in my Cyndaquil story or uh, Spike story involving the Quill Lava. I just didn't want to have that going in a, uh, in a grinding montage. I also was worried about the egg hatching. It, I don't want that in a grinding montage. Not to mention that if you couldn't tell, it's it's nighttime. Usually I'd stream, uh, you know, later in the evening, or, you know, earlier in the evening. But the way that today happened, I, this is kind of the way that I had to stream, or I had to uh, put this out to you. And subsequently, it might be a little late. It might be a few hours late. Of course, by the time you're watching this, you know, it's a bit late to tell you that, but, you know, at least, you know, at least you know that I know it might be a little late. Anyway, our team comprises of... And that was a great segue, I'm aware. Our team comprises of Bucky, our uh, Spikes, our, Qu our, our Centaquil, Mooney, our Knocked Owl. We have Rappa, a Ekans, which I'm not even sure if we're going to be using, and Fake Dragon, which is our newest addition to the team. Definitely going to be using it. It's the Magic Carp at level 10. And the Egg, you know, the Mystery Egg. I say that with a lot of sarcasm, of course. I'm actually going to, until I know for sure, I'm going to deposit Rappa just because I know we're about to get an encounter in the cave. And if there is something in there that's actually worth having, I'd like to have it on, you know, on the team. And as it is now, we have six, uh, six Pokemon. Well, five Pokemon and an egg. So I'm just going to get rid of him for the moment. I believe it's a him. I don't even remember the gender. It's not fantastic. I think that I'll be probably upload, uh, uploading a uh, team builder on Monday, so I might actually do that right after this. So if it's pitch black and I'm wearing the same shirt, that would be why. Also, I just barely finished, uh, I just barely wrapped up my uh, Wolfenstein the Old Blood uh, playthrough. I believe, it, yeah, episode 5 will be downloading, or is, is going to be uploading tomorrow. Uh, why am I even doing this? I'm sorry, I'm talking and everything. As long as I don't forget to name my Pokemon again. I suppose that's whatever. We are leading out with Bucky, should we be? Yeah, Bucky's the best to be leading right now. So down we go. Do you want to battle? We're at my Poke Center, so if he wants to battle, I'm fine with that. Also, I've been working on the uh, team, you know, my Team Builder 2 team, the Mother's Day team with uh, Ninetales. That's also, that's partially why I'm so late, is that we get, uh, the week kind of was uh, busy, and I wasn't able to work on that team over the week, so I have to cram it all in this weekend, as well as do the LPs. Uh, for a second, I was going to say we can uh, catch the Pidgey, but then I realized it's a chain Pidgey. That does a really good amount of damage. It is stab, but and it's not too too weak on the power either. Next week, though, I think I've already mentioned this in uh, at least a couple of videos back, and I think uh, I've mentioned it in multiple videos. I'll be starting up a uh, Witcher Three: The Wild Hunt uh, playthrough, and if that receive that, unlike Wolfenstein, like I need. And still need some support in Wolfenstein to know I'm going in the right direction because that is a really large time investment for me to be doing uh, less plays other than Pokemon because you know usually I'm just playing you know this 22 minutes a day it's not too command uh, too demanding but those LPs putting them out every day it's a bit more it's a bit more demanding than this is. I mean I love I love doing them both but I do need to know if that my time would be better spent elsewhere especially with a game like Witcher coming uh that I'm going to start on. Uh, start next week. You you assume it's like forty hours long because it's not you know it's not a normal six to eight hour game, and because of that I do you know I definitely need to make sure that I'm not wasting that much time on a video that people who are watching this are still interested in. Well, maybe not this particularly, but who watch my channel. Anyway, the, his uh, both his Pidgey and his Pharaoh are not really any threat to us. You know, 
I know this is wasting a lot of time because I'm pretty tight on the 22 minute schedule thing. But I'm actually going to just go quickly heal up my uh, Pokemons because we're right by the Poke Center. There's no excuse not to. So, uh, presumably, by the time this is done, I'll have built another team, or have, uh, have an, an upload ready for the next team builder. So, what Pokemon do you think I should lead, or uh, use the start Pokemon in team builder for? I mean, I'm not saying I'll definitely use it, but just I'm asking for suggestions from you guys. Geodude. I am actually completely fine with the Geodude. I actually was hoping for one on, I believe it was Yao, not Yao 5, but I, I believe it was our second encounter. I was hoping for a Jill dude, but didn't get it because we got this, we actually got Bucky instead. So, it is what it is. And I forgot to get one more Pokeball, you know. I, I would buy him in increments of 10 because one's kind of a scam. Stay in the ball. I already have it, I already have a name for Jill dude. And actually, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing this because it's a lot of time and effort as well. But I'm, I have no problem with it because I do like Pokemon. If I was actually going to do a, a video specifically on Golem, because I think there's some interesting discrepancies with Golem, at least in the Pokedex, uh, in the anime. There we go. I, sw I wasn't even worried about it. Like That's one thing I can definitely see randomizers being more important, or more um, exciting to watch. Because you don't know exactly what you're going to fight, and Game Freak is pretty good at not putting in anything you couldn't handle easily to begin with. Let's see if I can spell this. Reoxy. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but that's what I'm spelling it. What's it going to be? Another Geo Dude. Okay, well, at least this time I don't have to worry about taking it out. I mean, obviously, Geo Dude isn't a pushover, but at least this time I can actually attack it. And as a uh, Yawk resists normal typing, the quick attack just isn't going to do quite as much. There's a bite, which is kind of, I think, funny. Not to mention, I get the flinch, that's easy to KO. Again, though, as, as with every. Uh, Every one of these recordings, I would like to remind all of you who do not follow me on Twitch that I do have a Twitch. Do not follow me on Twitter, I have a Twitter. They're both actually the control room, but with the exception of Twitch, is it's meant to be the control room, but it actually is T control room at Twitch. Well, I decided to do this entire streaming thing back in January, uh, streaming and uh, YouTubing thing. I actually Took, uh, grabbed the domains on the websites I actually use the most. So that would be you know, Twitch, YouTube, and uh, Twitter. I was going to do it on Facebook, and I probably still can. I mean, it's not like my name is too obvious to people. But I just ha I never did it. That hardening is going to be very annoying now. Like, it's, it's, this is actually going to be one of those things I actually give a crap about. Rather than just talk straight through, because this, uh, the Sonics can definitely be dangerous to pretty much all of our team. When we have a flying type, we have a flying type, and we have this thing which is barely going to hit with any, uh, can barely hit with anything. We don't have anything super effective on it. I mean, if only Splash actually did damage, but then again, Splash is a normal type move because it was actually meant to be called Hop, which is a mistranslation, which I believe I said in the last episode. It's going to be a plus six pace, uh, pace here, and that thing will be so bulk, it'll be funny. It doesn't help, though, that it's only uh, two levels below us as well. It's actually, arguably, it's already very bulk, so I'm going to go focus energy, actually. Hope for the critical hit, uh, the critical hits just double my damage on it. It's going to screech us. Man, I'm not liking that. This, you could easily take out Bucky now if it, uh, if it's so, you know, if it's so chose, just with a single attack. Maybe one more screech, but it would definitely take us out. Because Onyx is not... Onyx is no pushover, really. Like this. 
If I got the Baron, that would be nice, but I don't want to really bring in spikes on it. I I can't see it using uh, having any like really rock moves. I can I can see it maybe maybe having magnitude, but I can't see it having rock moves. Can I get it to sleep just to? I mean, it's too bad. Uh, actually, Snapple could probably hit it a bit better, even though it's just uh, four times resistant because it's no it's not going to be a plus. You know, it's not plus six special attack, but it's, it must be right on plus six, if not at plus six in the physical right now. So I'm going to actually bring in something I would never do in a competitive game and actually bring a fire type in on a ground rock type. This is like an Infernape or um, a fire type that I knew was going to be faster and had some like hidden power, water, or something like that. In which case I probably would. And if I get the burn, even better. Oh, I can't get the burn because it's sleep. What am I talking about? Question, I have no idea. Is that true? I know it did a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, I think I might be able to take out Sonic, so just stalling us out for a sec. There we are. We still abide by our marks. And it looks like hitting level 14 with Spike. Hike or Daniel. That does, he doesn't look like a Daniel to me. Might be, though. I love how your mom's, uh, Quillava's evolving. I mean Quillava. Santa Quill's evolving into Quillava. Man, Quillava, I've always thought Quillava kind of looks like a, you know, a rock type music fan. Like if Pokemon had a, t uh, had a taste in music, I think universally Quillava's would be rock stars. I don't know about Typhlosions, maybe like Goth or something like that. Centiquils, no idea. Anyway, he, it's funny because he, uh, he barely battled much. Like, he, he barely battled at all, really. But I will be, uh, I'll be grinding up the magic carpets next, uh, next time. Or, uh, for next video. And I figure we might as well battle as many people in here as possible. And you might have noticed back at the, uh, other side of that little water area behind us, there's a ladder going down, and there is stuff down there. I'm just trying to, in the interest of time, get through the entire cave so we actually make some progress, rather than stop outside the cave, go halfway through the cave, and then stop again. So, I mean, in the interest of time and keeping my videos on a consistent pacing without having to uh, speed them up any, or like hardly any, like, uh, no, let's say any, then I'm going to, uh, I just want to make it through super fast. And we're going to be playing those games again. Dark and ground types are amazingly good at just being walls. Not as good as like poison or grass types, but still very, very wall Pokemon. I actually say that uh, poison types are not as good of a wall as people would um, usually give them credit for, especially in sixth gen meta, because you have a lot, you have a lot of like Garchomp's running around. Not a lot. Not as many as they used to be, for sure. But in Oris, I mean, in X and Y, they were all over the place. But in Oris, a little, a little less so. But you'll have a lot of Ethereal Landers in the competitive, especially for VGC. And you, you get, you know, a Poison type will get easily KO'd by a Ground type move. You also have a lot of po uh, a lot of Pokemon like Sylveons that will sometimes have a Psychic move for diversity and they get rid of their Poison weakness. So it's just, and that's the worst part though, is when you actually have a Pokemon. Going into agility. You actually have a, uh, a Pokemon like Sylveon, you bring in a Muck, just for example, thinking you're going to take care of it, and then you're kind of checked into it because they actually end up taking care of you because they're faster and they'll end up just beating you with a psychic or something like that. Cause the Choice Specs, uh, choice specs uh, Hyper Voice is not quite as prevalent I've found as it used to be. So they'll usually have the ability to move on to a different move. I've actually seen Wyglass a lot because, I mean, Hyper Voice by itself is just so powerful. You really don't need the extra buff. So the wise glass is just for that extra ten percent, but usually and usually that will do the trick. Yeah, switching to hoo hoo, but I'm a little reluctant. Because Mooney is a uh, is a flying type against another rock type or against a rock type and can definitely have some rock movements just destroy me. 
and only being five levels lower than I am, it's going to make it a bit, you know, a bit more risky for that exact reason. I miss, I miss a rock. How do you miss a rock? I mean, agility isn't exactly the most agile thing ever. I mean, there are some, like, uh, you know, if you believe the Pokedex, though, a lot of things are pretty insanely fast. Like Dragonite being able to fly around the world in uh, 90 minutes. That's only been achieved by a manned aircraft once, and that's from the SR-71 Blackbird. It's going to be doing this. This entire cave, despite my best efforts to make it faster, is going to be a little, a little um, slower because of the stalling tactics here. I'm actually going to do something I wasn't intending on doing to begin with, and go into uh, go back into Bucky. Just try to make this a little faster, because he has a much higher attack than who, who not to mention stab normal typing with uh, with priority. Because rock polish now, now that it has rock polish up, it will def you'll definitely need to, uh, I'll need priority to do anything with it. Even so, it's just gonna be a stall out. It can it can rock polish all at once. I mean, ultimately, I'm not gonna have to be it with the first rock polish. Many of my Pokemon so this. That second one doesn't mean anything to me. So I'm thinking how much does, uh, I, I don't remember how much Defense Curl does 4th gen, like how many stages. It might be universal. I believe, I know in 6th gen I believe it goes, well, I know I believe now. In 6th uh, gen I think it goes up by 2 stages, so that would mean it's actually bordering right now on 6, if not at 6 already. And now, it's it's a setting up. It has speed now. It has defensive. I mean, if you could get this off in a uh, in a uh, competitive game, it would it would actually be dangerous, especially with the well with the golem in general. You wouldn't really be bringing a geo dude with you. I, mean, I guess you could if you really want to be original, but you don't see him often. And if you're gonna do Eevee light, you might as well go with Graveler. There's nothing that geo dude uh, does that Graveler and Golem couldn't. But Eviolite, uh, Eviolite Onyx is actually a pretty dangerous thing. I've, I've used it a few times. People never expect it either, because Eviolite Pokemon just, you don't expect, like, most Pokemon to have it. Like, you'll assume an unevolved Pokemon that comes to a competitor would have Eviolite. But people always, for some reason, just don't get it with the Onyx. It's like they never even have thought of the idea. Or thought that it was even a possibility. There's one guy who comes to my stream that I also know personally who just insists on Scyther and Scizor, uh, saying that uh, Scyther is better. I looked at the stats and they're equal in the t uh, stat total. But, you know, I'm just not... And he puts an evil light on it, which actually makes both of his defenses higher than a Scizor's defense. But I'm just not completely sold on the idea because I don't care if you're a bug flying type and you have the same, you know, same type of stat. I mean, you're, you're either going to be super, uh, super weak to your arc, or you're going to be super weak to fire, and that's it's it's one or the other. And I'd say that Yawk is still Yawk's around semi often, and fire well fire's a lot more prevalent, so I can get that. But well, this is kind of off topic, I admit. I'm honestly just trying to get through the cave and obviously thread this chain of thought before I finish the uh, Jill Dude battle. But no, I personally think Scissors better just because. They they check each other, but flying's not gonna do as much to a steel type as steel do to a flying bug. I do kind of like it. I remember in the uh, I remember the first second gen game I ever got was the Japanese uh, Japanese imported silver. Now, of course, it really didn't matter to me that it was all written in, you know, Japanese characters as I was dyslexic. Obviously, you don't go outgrow dyslexia. But, you know, I, I couldn't read English to begin with, so I'm like, okay, cool, it's Japanese. And that's also another reason why I didn't bother with the, uh, I don't bother with reading these things. I just said never was my habit. I actually don't play the games with the music on. Holy crap, I forgot to put the music on this. Because I was doing the grinding montage of town with the music, and I was a complete idiot. My mistake. Completely my mistake. I honestly, honestly, I would redo this entire um, episode, like right here and now, but just with the time crunch and me wanting to get it out on the, at the appropriate time, 
to just keep it going on the schedule. I don't think I'm going to be doing that. I'm trying to think how I can remedy it though. Not to mention I, I just don't particularly want to go through the uh the stalls again. And that's we're only two minutes away. It's like, I mean, obviously I'm sorry for the uh, lack of music. I forgot about putting it back. In the future, I'm just going to keep going montage. Uh, in the going on montage, I'm going to keep the music up, and I'll just edit it. And uh, you know, in editing, I'll just take out the music. I think that's by far the safest thing, just so this doesn't happen again. Sorry about that. I, I was just thinking I could probably uh, record the music afterwards, because, you know, the music kind of have a, it's kind of a short, you know, they, they're all like short melodies, but then it occurred to me that I would have to do that with the encounters as well, so I'd have to record in separate encounters and put those in. By the time I did all that, it would already be past time anyway. I'm just, just trying to pass that dude. I actually should have uh, Mooney out right now. That That would be the appropriate decision right here. I'm, I'm honestly just trying to pass this dude because I don't want to stop in the middle of the cave. We're actually over 22 right now, so I'm actually going to be uh, speeding this video up just the slightest of bits to get to about 22 minutes. It will probably not even be noticeable, it's just not like I'm speaking briskly, or more briskly than usual. I don't remember if Slowpoke is a uh, psychic type before it goes through. I don't, with that damage, I doubt it's a psychic type until I hit Slowpoke. Or Kang, depending on which one you want to do. Yeah, now now Bucky's highest level here. Fuck that guy only had his slow poke. Speaking of the slow family though, I don't see too many uh, mega slow bros anymore. I mean I used to, but not so much anymore. Awakening. Draining. Well, I think we have a few encounters to do here, but I'm going to leave the episode off here. Definitely make sure to keep the, uh, get the music on for tomorrow's episode, and <laughs> just uh, not not drop the ball like I did. And I hope you all hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you all next time.